what you thought about gold right now with some of the, you know, with the circumstances we have in the world going on and there's you know the some of the circles I'm in they're talking yeah. gold a lot and I just thought I would get your thoughts on it. My thoughts are not much different than um, you know that what Dan always used to say gold is a speculative commodity. So, I mean, it it depends on why you're wanting to invest in gold. If you're wanting to invest in gold because you think that there's some uh, some potential in the price going up, I would say compare it to some of the other things that could go up. So I'm more interested in black gold than I am Uh, just the the regular old gold. I think um, I think oil is going to be a better commodity than gold is. I mean, think about this. If. you, what can you do with gold, really? You know, you can't even, if you buy it through an ETF or a mutual fund or something like that, you can't even really hold it and look at it. I mean, you can't um, put it in your gas tank. You can't eat it. So, I mean, if it's something that you're worried about with the end times and, you know, a financial collapse and the great reset and all that, I don't think gold is going to save you. Will it go up in value? Yes, I'm sure it will. Um, because it's traditionally been a flight to safety. I also know that it is very, very heavily marketed, especially to Christians. Dan used to say um, all the time how much money the ministry was offered to run gold commercials, and he never would do it because he considered them to be predators. I mean, he would actually call them predators. So there are a lot of really unethical practices in the selling of gold, I'm not saying that there aren't some uh, some reputable sources out there or some good people, but you know, I I personally have had friends who um, have had their whole lives ruined by being in that industry. It was a very it was very psychologically da- damaging to them as to what they were expected to do, uh, prey on the elderly and and things like that. So there's a lot of unscrupulous practices there. I think there's a lot of um, sensationalizing about what gold does and so on and so forth. So I'm not really a fan. Uh, it's like Dan always used to say, if if things get really bad, it's not like you're going to be able to go down to the store and shave off a few, um, you know, shavings off of your gold bar to get some food. And uh, he would often say that my jar of peanut butter in the in the scenario that you're laying out is going to be far more valuable than your bar of gold if you can even get it get to it. So, um, not on the buy list. I mean, it's something that I watch from time to time, but I just I just think that there's far more um, investments that have been more way more successful than gold over time. 